Hello everybody and welcome back to Warplan, where we are playing as the Axis, trying to change the fate of this uh, side. I, I don't know. We're, we're just trying to change history a little bit because I think it's fun. Um, so we just defeated Poland uh, at the end of September. Uh, and now we're reorganizing our large attack force, shifting them over to the Western Front. We're not going to be going ahead with the attacks on Denmark and Norway. Uh, that's another front. I don't want to open it up. I want to minimize my exposure to the fronts as much as possible. Uh, and save up as much oil as possible because our oil uh, reserves are low. So I want to go ahead and get as many as I can, as much as I can stockpiled up for the eventual attack on Fr uh, France proper. Now we can go ahead and build up another large infantry division. We'll go with an anti-tank one this time. We'll get Elcor. Pick that one up. Can also get some marine divisions. We'll be looking at doing that and maybe a second Fulshamjager Corps. Mountain Corps could be good in the future. Can't get a lot of mechanized. Can't get quite a bit of armor though, but we'll see about the armor. <clears throat> uh, once we secure more oil supplies. Uh, so yeah, let's. I think we did everything we were supposed to. Yeah, because we're just moving things down along the rail line. We have a limited amount of our. Uh, of our rail move to use, so we're just going to be using that sparingly with the most uh, useful units, getting them shifted over, shifting our least useful units out of the area to just fend uh, with uh, kind of stacking the border with the heavy stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn, see what happens. Oh, we're also building up along the Italian uh, border uh, in Libya. Uh, to try and rush Egypt uh, once they join the war. Okay, air attack in Essen. Soviets are moving a bit. Don't have to worry about them much. Yeah, Italy's low on oil, I know. Okay, get you over there. If you shift into Dusseldorf. Just got you there. Let's see, who else can we move? You can move. To Cologne. So can you. Move you go there. We'll just have the armor. Move as far as they can. Along with the infantry. Just trying to stay on the rail lines. Okay. Shoot over there. Along with you over there. You'll both be staying over here. Okay. That's good. That is good. Again, what we're going to want to do is use Luxembourg as the avenue to get through the Ardennes and just hit as much as we can on these two areas, open up our corridor and just rush as quickly as possible. That is the plan. How is Italy doing in terms of their oil? I mean, yeah, they're... They're getting imports of seven. So as long as we don't use anything, they'll keep building up. Uh, and Germany got some more uh, production this time around. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, let's get the Brandenburger. I'll give one anti-tank and one assault marine division. Because uh, we'll be using them for Sea Lion when that comes up. Because we are going to be doing Sea Lion. Okay. See, this is the thing. There's not a lot to do. We're just building up here. It's a it's a big uh, push to try and get our units back over to the Western Front for the eventual attack into France. Can shift some more... 
uh, Italians over for their eventual theaters that they will have to take on. Over here in Yugoslavia, might want to bolster... Uh, nah, I was going to say we might want to bolster the... Uh, theory over here, but it, I don't think that'll be a thing. We won't attack from there, and if we do, we'll probably bolster them with Germans. Uh, so, yeah, okay. That's looking good. Not a lot else for us to do. We've got how many turns? Uh, one more turn for a motorized core, or for the third motorized core. That'll be coming in. Four more turns for this large L core. Ten, uh, five more turns for, or four more turns for that. Five more turns for the first cavalry core. Most mirrors take six, nine turns for them, respectively. Yeah, and 22 more turns for the Bismarck to come out. All right, yep, that looks about all we really can do. So let's go ahead and end the turn. And we're not sending out our subs because we don't have a good enough range on the subs right now to really capitalize on uh, raiding. A couple of air attacks, but we do have our fighters in the area, so that's hopefully helping us out. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like they've done a lot. They're building up around here, but that's a very that's a very light area. We could hammer that with a concentrated air attack and bring them down pretty low. Get through, surround, attack, open that corridor up, and just keep going with the uh, armor. That's what I'm hoping, at least. It's uh, it's all plans right now. Uh, okay, you're ready, so let's go ahead and deploy you there. And then deploy this subgroup with the rest of the subs. Uh, what do we got? 103 oil, that's good. Still only 10 oil for the Italians because they their upkeep is the same as their imports, so that's not great. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see about getting this armored unit over here. This one. So we've got the what would that be? That would be the ten, one, the eleven. So that be the nineteenth. So the nineteenth. I don't do the Roman numerals. But nineteenth Panzer Corps, and the oh uh, fuck, uh, the sixteenth Panzer Corps. Is that what that is? That'd be I is 10, V is 5, and then uh, one, and then an I. An X, an X is 10, V is 5, an I is a 1, and I before V is 6, and I before V. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I don't do Roman numerals. It's not, it's not a common thing. Around here, not a lot of Roman numerals in my local area. Okay. Still trying to get these units someplace they can be useful. All these infantry units. We've got a good amount here. What is our current 101 for our stockpile? Okay. I'm thinking we go ahead and we get some support here. We get a couple of landing ships. Get a couple of supply trucks. A couple of shipyards, because it looks like we're going to need those. Then I think we're good. Okay. Okay. This is looking good. Attacking along this short front we can probably get through. We just gotta wait a little bit. Let's get our air in position as much as it can be. Because we're gonna be hammering here and here with the air when we declare war and then going straight in. What is that? 99. I wanna try and get 150 oil in reserve. If we can get 150 oil in reserve, I think that'll be great.
should give us enough to do a concentrated air attack. Uh, or maybe 200. I don't know. November 10 is where we're at right now. We'll see how, we'll see where we're at at the end of November. Okay, looks like we just got a bit of reconnaissance from all the extra air we have in the area. So we got a little bit of northern France that we can see there. So we definitely know that there are a couple of British units here. A couple of mobile French units. And two non-mobile French units. So these are this is the area we can break through. We gotta go straight across and down. Straight across, down, and then just kind of go across here and just keep attacking. Be what I'd do. 140? That's not bad. That is not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and look at paratroopers. Let's get an anti-tank paratrooper unit. Second Fallschirmjägers. Okay. Let's see what doing an attack, uh, an air attack, will... Uh, give us here. We'll do a little bit of uh, preparatory stuff just to see what we got. Okay, decent attack there. So seeing how much fuel we use up with the concentrated air. That was everything. Yeah. So not. Oh no, we got one here. Yeah, we'd have to get around, then hit, but then that would open that up. It's a possibility. It is a possibility. Let's see, who is the strongest out of here? Well, I'll have you move over along with you. And then just keep walking, guys. That's what you got. It's a good reserve. It's a good. It's a good reserve that's moving over to the uh, the western front. It's going to be a hell to get these back over to the eastern front whenever we have to do that, but that won't be for a while. Let's get you off the rail lines. You'll be behind and ready to go. Okay, 106. So even with all of the uh, air that only wiped away one turn's worth of oil surplus, so that's not bad. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Let's see what we get. All right. It's winter, so December. Wait for the snow to to go because I don't want to have to. I want to have my air cover. This does give us time to get the rest of our troops in position and off of the roads. One more turn for another core. Cavalry Corn 2. Yeah. A lot of things coming soon. Just get another large infantry core. Anti tank core. No, we'll go an assault core. Let's buy that. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, nothing else we can really do. Just gotta wait for the snow to to let up a bit. Then we can push in. But it looks like we did do a decent amount of damage here at one point. 
concentrated wise, but that should be able to capitalize. Next turn. Let's see what the Brits do. Keep trying to hit us with the air in Dusseldorf and Essen, but it's it's not working. We have more concentrated air in the area. Uh, Finland refuses Stalin's border demands. USSR declares war on Finland, invading uh, with overwhelming force. Okay. Let's get another infantry corps here. It is still snowing, I think. No, it just snows on the ground, but it's not snowing anymore. We'll hold. We'll hold until the weather turns. We've got the time now. And just keep marching up, boys. We're almost there. It's an overwhelming force so that we can break in, get through, and cut off as many British as we can as well. We want to make sure they can't get out. So that we have as best chance as possible to quickly follow up with the naval invasion into southern England. And then just keep pushing up. At least that's the plan. We'll see about that. There's nothing much we can really do anywhere else. That's the thing. Yep. Well, this is allowing us to build up our stockpiles here. Uh... Get a mountain unit. Yeah. Pick up a mountain unit. Mountain core. And end the turn. Okay. Yep. Yep, the phony war is still going on. It's January 1940. Cavalry Corps. One more turn for the full, full, first Fulshimjäger. Second Fulshimjäger is in 12 turns. So if both Fulshimjägers kind of go around Leipzig, they're going to be a part, along with the Marines, on establishing a solid beachhead in southern England. Is what we're Maybe around Plymouth? I'm thinking right around here, we cross on like we cross here at uh, Cherbourg and uh, Saint Malo. Cross over, get both sides of Plymouth. Have the uh, Fulshmakers, uh land here or here a block. Give us enough time to take Plymouth, maybe. With concentrated air assault as well to kind of give us a uh, a chance of it. At least that's what I'm thinking. All right, next turn. Let's hope this snow melts. Cause that's what we're waiting on right now. We're waiting for a turn in the weather. Now I'm stupid. I didn't move the uh, the units that we're trying to get over. All right. Well, they're almost there. Got some specialty points here. Let's go ahead and give you an engineer. Okay. So you've got an engineer unit. You'll be a part going over the river and attacking these fortifications and everything. That's good. That's good. Fulshmakers are ready. Let's deploy them around Leipzig, like I said. And again, we're just waiting for the weather to turn. Well, we've got 258 oil, so we've got plenty of stockpiled resources. Go ahead and pick up a couple more salt core. 
And an anti and an assault cavalry corps. The uh, the what would that be? That'd be five, six, seven. The eighth SS cavalry corps. Pick that up as well. We might deploy them east because uh, they'll be done by that point. Deploy them east and uh, get ready for Barbarossa, which we'll try and hit them even earlier uh, and uh, push towards uh, where the hell's Moscow? Moscow, right there. We'll see. That or we'll use it in our uh, actions in North Africa and uh, the uh, Balkans. All right. Well, it's getting near the end of January. Let's hope this snow melts. I want a spring offensive. That's what I want to do. Or as close to spring as I can get it. All right. <clears throat> Still got snow on the ground. Okay, they're basically there. We've almost got everything here. Almost 300 oil in reserve. Anything else to pick up? We could pick up a mountain core, anti tank mountain core. Yeah, we'll do that. We're probably going to need it at some point. So we got that. Yeah, not much else for us to really do. That's the thing. We could try and do an attack. That gets us six there. I mean, it's not bad, actually, if we go ahead and do it now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Declare war. Belgium. Declare war. We will hold off on the Netherlands for now. So here's what we gotta do. Concentrated air. Here. Everything we can. Just... Okay, there we go. It's good. And get across. We are at war, aren't we? Belgium, right? We did declare war on Belgium. That was Bulgaria. Shit. Belgium. Okay. Well, that's my fault. That is my fault. I mean, we could go ahead and, like... I think we could go ahead and maybe... Options. Can we load a autosave? Don't think we can. Alright, well, looks like this has already taken an ahistorical route. Okay, Belgium. Eh, Bulgaria wasn't that important anyways. Uh, all right. <laughs> There's going to be people yelling in the comments section. I can tell already. Uh, all right. Both of you. Let's go ahead and do some air attacks on this guy. Just hit him as much as we can. Hit him a bit. Just keep moving forward. They're pretty low, actually, in terms of health, or in terms of uh, strength. Okay. Did we use all of our actions for everybody? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Nope. 
All right. Just gonna keep pushing forward with everything. We've still got more well, a crap load of points. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right. So we pushed in. We'll take Luxembourg this round. Next round, we'll push into this gap if we can. We'll definitely get this guy next turn, and we'll be able to take on the front line because it's practically nothing. If we get stopped for another turn, then we go into the Netherlands uh, to rush around. And we do a wide Schlieffen. <laughs> a very wide Schlieffen plan. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the Bulgarian thing. I was not paying attention, so that kind of sucks. I mean, Bulgaria is basically nothing. I, I don't care. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, but looking at the time, that's going to be the end of this episode. So <laughs> thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to just yell at me for mixing up Bulgaria and Belgium. Uh, if you like the episode, please take a look uh, down below. Uh, or please also uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, consider taking a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. Uh, and I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.